Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and this is day 13 in the series 28 days of AC Terraform. In this video, we'll be looking into data sources. What are those? Why do we use it? How do we use it? And of course, with the help of, of an example, how do we use it? We'll see the real time implementation of it. And the comments and like target of this video is going to be 150 like 150 comments in the next 24 hours. All I need is 100 dedicated learners. That's all I need. That's all I wish for. And it will make all the efforts worthwhile. Right. So without any further ado, let's start with the video. All right. So let's see why do we use it and what it is. So with the help of an example, of course. Okay. Let's say we have a shared virtual network over here in your Azure environment. Why I'm calling it a shared virtual network because it's been shared with multiple teams and a different set of team members manages this infrastructure for you. Okay. So let's say there is a network infra team who manages this for you. Okay. Now it happens in many organization because as you uh, grow in size, grow in number uh, in the organization, um, like there is a dedicated team to manage your security aspects of infrastructure. There is a dedicated team to manage your networking side of it. And there are different other teams. So let's say you have a network infrastructure team who manages this virtual network for you. Now it will have multiple subnets created for each of the teams or each of the line of businesses or however they have configured it. For now, let's assume they have created for each of the teams and each of the live environments. OK, so I'm just going to create, let's say, seven, uh, six subnets over here. Subnet one, subnet two, subnet three, subnet four, subnet five and subnet six. Now, this will be for your dev environment. This will be for your test environment, for your staging environment, for your prod environment. And then this will be for your development team. And this would be, let's say, for your DevOps team. OK, so we have created separate subnet within the same virtual network and dedicated each of the subnet to different teams and different environments. Now you are part of a DevOps team. OK, so you need to create a virtual machine for your own POC or for your own testing purpose. So let's say you have your resource group over here. OK, so let's call it RG Piyush or you can call it RG, whatever your name is. And then you have to provision your virtual machine in this particular resource group. But the issue over here is you cannot create your own virtual network. You cannot create your own subnet because it's already been managed by some other team and you have to make use of it like the way they have instructed. OK, so this is the subnet in which we'll be provisioning our instance. Now, how do you do that? So you do that with the help of something called as a data source. OK, data source make it possible. Data source uh, help you with taking the reference of resources that has already been provisioned for you. OK, so that you don't have to create it again so that let's say in, in your team, there are uh, 10 DevOps engineers. Each of them would not create their own subnet or their own virtual network. OK, and like for the security and compliance purpose, for uh, the process setup purpose, there are many other purposes as well. Now, uh, how do we create it? So in our, let's say over here, let's say you have your Terraform code. OK, in that you create something called as a data source. So you create data source for your subnet, for your VNet. OK. And then you give the reference of this particular subnet over here and you give the reference of this particular VNet over here. OK, now when you instruct your Terraform to provision the virtual machine with the help of these data sources, then that virtual machine, it will exist in your resource group, but it will be part of this shared virtual network and subnet six. OK, so here it will be created. OK, so it will be more clear when we have a look at that with the help of an example, when we'll do the demo, which what we are going to do next. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to 
keep this away for now okay and let's go back to our screen okay so i have taken uh, provider.sh and backend.sh from the previous videos now what we need to do is we need to take the reference of as i have told you from the existing resource so i already have the resource created so uh, where it is here so i've created one shared virtual network and called it shared network rg okay inside that i have created a subnet and called it no that's actually that's the resource group name shared network rg and then we have a shared virtual network shared network vnet inside that i have created a subnet shared primary sn right so we have these three resources created now we'll be creating data source for these three resources so that we can use in our existing configuration and what we're gonna do we're gonna um implement or we're gonna provision a virtual machine using these okay so i'm just gonna copy the virtual machine um let's go over here and i'm gonna copy azure rm virtual machine uh, sample code from uh, from the documentation where it is let's see i'm um, close okay here right so let's create a sample and we'll make the changes over there so i have copied it now i'll create a new file and i'm gonna call it main.tf let's paste it over here okay now it has a variable which says prefix so let's keep it the way it is i'll just change the name to something more uh, meaningful to us so let's call it day 13. so now <clears throat> our resource group will be created with the name var prefix which is day 13 and rg let's change the location to canada central feel free to use variables um so we have seen that multiple times okay and now it it's gonna create one virtual network and one subnet but we don't need to create those we already have those created we just need to give the reference for those okay so i'm just gonna delete these two resources from here okay and now how we take the reference we'll create something called as a data source so you can create the in the same file or you can create a separate file let's create in the same file and then we'll move it to the separate file so it starts with data okay and then the name of the uh, like data source type and then the name of the data source now if you want to see the syntax of it you can go back to azure documentation like where do you see the resource just down there you will have the data sources as well you know so these are the data sources specific to azure virtual machine similarly if uh, we're gonna check for let's say virtual network so here is data source for azure rm virtual network what it needs it needs a name and a resource group name okay yeah let's start with the um azure rm resource group do we need the resource group name for that okay let's start the azure rm resource group name azure rm resource group and then let's call it rg shared okay now if you hover the mouse it will show you what it's missing uh, currently it we have not provided anything so it says a data block so name let's start with the name let's give it a name um name should be like whatever we have created okay whatever we have in uh, existed so it was let me just double check what was it uh, resource group name was shared network rg okay so let's just give it over here shared network rg so that's the data source for shared network resource group now we have data for azure rm virtual network it's over here and then give it a name uh, vnet shared and again let's give this a name name is shared network rg so you can just copy it from here or just type it from there that's not a problem shared network rg now it is missing something else so let's hover the mouse it says resource group name is also required like this resource belong to which resource group okay so let's give resource group name 
resource group name now we don't have to enter it again we can take it from this data source right so how do we take it data dot resource group azure rm resource group dot rg shared and then dot name okay we are just taking the value from its attribute now this is also done the next is data azure rm subnet okay so let's call it subnet shared okay again let's give this a name name is over here shared primary sn okay and i guess it will also expect resource group name so take it from data dot resource group dot rg shared dot name and it is accepting one more field so which is your virtual network name because subnet is part of a virtual network so let's give it virtual network name which we can again take from the previous data source uh, which is data dot azure rm dot virtual network dot vnet share dot name okay so now we have just initialized our data source now we can use that in our configuration now go back and let's say we don't want to hard code the location over here we want to use the same location in which our uh, vnet has been provisioned okay so for this let's take it from data dot uh, resource group rg dot shared dot location okay now it will take the same location and then we have uh, azure rm virtual network so let's see it has a location now location it is taking from the azure rm resource group which is over here but resource group location is also dependent on the location of the resource group that was created by us by the network admin team right so there is uh, this dependency so it will take the source location so whatever resource group location is there let's say it's resource group uh, shared network east us so all the resources will be created in east us because we have used data source over here and then we have used the same data source over here in the location for azure rm resource group and inside network interface as well we are taking reference from that resource group okay now it has resource group name that is fine um uh, IP configuration subnet IP subnet ID. This is where we need to provide the data source for subnet. So data dot Azure RM subnet ID subnet share dot ID. Okay. Now virtual machine. Virtual machine is name, which is fine. Location, resource group name, network interface. That's all good. Now let's just uncomment this. Otherwise, it will throw you error for deleting the Terraform resources. And let's keep the same. So for the storage image reference as well, you can use the data source like it is one of the use cases of data source. And then a storage OS disk is fine. Uh, OS profile this uh, yeah, that's everything is fine. So now if we go and run TF plan. Oh, we have to do tf init first let's initialize the infrastructure and then run tf plan let's say grep grep will be created oh it has thrown an error let's see what it is so it says shared network rg was not found Oh, uh, actually, I have given the wrong virtual network name somewhere. Let's see. Shared network RG. No, it's not shared network RG. It's shared network VNet. Okay. This is what I told you. Like, you can type it or you can copy and paste. <laughs> so, yeah, overconfidence. Okay, so it says three resources will be created network interface, resource group, and virtual machine. It's not creating subnet, it's not creating VNet. Still, it is able to create these resources inside the already existing VNets. So let's apply these changes and let's verify from the console. I'm gonna do auto auto approve. Okay. 
Okay, it says the resources have been created. Now let's check on the Azure portal. So I'm gonna go to my resource group and I have created a new resource group for this day 13 RG. In that there are three resources, VM, disk and NIC. So let's see where it was created. Okay, let's go to networking. Let's see network settings. Okay, so it, it's part of the virtual network shared network VNet and part of the subnet shared prime VSN, which is what we have configured for this VM. And this is how we have used data source. So I'm just gonna hit TF destroy. Um, so yeah, this is what I wanted you to see about um, data sources in Terraform. I hope this was clear now. I hope you were able to do the demo along with me or you can do it now if you were not following along. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon with the next video. In the next video, we'll be doing, we'll be starting with the mini projects. So we'll be starting with the provisioning a lot of infrastructure resources, virtual machine scale sets, virtual machines, uh, VNet, subnet, and a lot of cool stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you complete the comments and like target. I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.